Hello there YouTube and welcome back to War Thunder. Today I'm going to be taking out the Chieftain Mark 10 with Steel Brew armour. Now you can see the Steel Brew starting here, coming round and ending here. Now that is the only Steel Brew armour, there is no more on the tank. So this has to be used in a hold down position, long range sniping, picking off your target. Now we do also have the addition of AP FS DS shells with 410 millimeters of pen at 10 meters and 380 um, millimeters of pen at 2000 meters. So we have a decent amount of penetration. There's nothing really that can stop those shells at long range. We also have the addition of this new laser rangefinder, which should give us a accurate reading up to 5K. Well, that's a theory anyway. I've used the rangefinder on this a few times, and it tends to mm, disagree with my actual readings when I'm actually taking a shot. So we'll see how that goes when I eventually unlock it anyway. But to the tank it is effectively a chieftain mark 5 slash a mark 3 there is really no difference now if i switch to my mark 3 you'll see that the reload is on 8.2 mark 10 8.8 .8. if you can get this experted and then actually ace the crew you will get a reload of 7.7 .7 seconds i believe that's what it is because it's all the same gun um, it goes on all the same things yes 7.7 .7. So that's what you'll be looking at if you can get this experted and then aced. Mm. Now it will take 1,100,000 to expert the crew. So <laughs> you, you better save up for that because I ain't experting it at the moment. Uh, at some point I will do, but as it stands for now, I'm not going to be doing that. So guys, sit back, enjoy it, relax, and we'll jump to some gameplay. Here we go. Come on. <sighs> nice, type 74 Dan. So guys, there are two main ways to play the Chieftain Mark 10. One is to charge forward um, capturing strategic points and getting kills be very aggressive or um, sitting back and sniping and trying to pick off your enemies from distance and that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be sitting back it's not everyone's idea of fun gameplay I probably will attempt to um, do a little bit of charging forward and seeing how that goes but People will obviously see the extra armor on the turret and go straight for a lower glacis shot. Not many people, um, even before the patch, would be stupid enough to shoot at the um, turret of the Chieftain because it is so heavily armored. But we'll give it a go. Now, this is effectively still a Chieftain Mark 3 slash 5. Um, when it comes to its handling and everything else. It's more like the Mark V, really. Um, you'll still have the problems with mobility until you unlock more of the modifications. But if you play the Chieftains, you'll know it is a good tank. It is a pretty solid all-round tank. However, I would have preferred to see something a bit better for the British. Now, I'm not saying that the Chieftain is not a good tank. But what I'm saying is I would have rather have seen a faster slugger tank sort of thing. Oh, damn it. Um, basically, what I mean is not a slugger tank, but something more along the lines of the MBT-70, but for the British. I can't believe that the British would not have some sort of fast main battle tank or at least some sort of fast lightly armoured reconnaissance tank that could effectively deal with um, some of these tanks that we're facing at the moment. I might be wrong, I haven't really googled it, but 
it would be nice, wouldn't it, to have a high tier tank for the British that actually um, can compete with MBT 70s and RU 251s and shit like that. It'd be fucking great. This is an incredibly slow tank, and on big maps like this, it takes an age to get to the capture zones. So, a lot of the time, you're better off just sitting back because you can't actually get um, to the cap zones to get any spawn points. And at the moment, our team is absolutely being hammered. Hang on. No, I thought I see something. Wishful thinking. We just have to wait, I think. Wait until they try and capture B. There we go, that's better. My God! <laughs> Never struggle so much to get a sodding kill. Holy fuck. Four kills, not bad, not bad. Although <laughs> kills look a bit scarce on the ground at the moment. <laughs> you never know, we might actually be able to win this one. It was looking it was looking a bit dodgy to begin with. But just be patient. I know as soon as I move I'm gonna get shot right in the lower glacis. <laughs> ATGM. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second, but okay. I suppose it's the splash damage, isn't it? Fuck's sake. I see him though. Stupid saber. Hang on, gotta be careful. No, he's got him, I think. Yep, he's got him. God damn it! No! You nicked the revenge kill! <laughs> I 
I don't think there's anything else. Nope. That's it. Welcome back to the hangar, guys. So, my thoughts on the Chieftain Mark 10. Well, it is basically just a upgraded Mark 5 with the Steel Brew, the Laser Range Finder, and the AP FSDS shells. Other than that, there is really not much difference. It's slightly heavier, which does affect your acceleration and maintaining your top speed. Now, I don't have this fully spaded. I'm all the way up to the filters and I'm going back to do the track, obviously for the booster um, in RP for the striker when I start really getting into the grind for that. But as it stands at the moment, it is just a Chieftain. It's a good tank. The Chieftains are really good tanks. But with the Mark 10, I tend to find myself picking and choosing maps. What map can I get hold down on? What map's gonna take me forever to drive across? Should I use something faster like um, the Swing Fire or something like that? It's a good tank, but the new meta for rank six really is more about speed. Now, the T64 takes a long time to get up to its top speed, and it's not very good at holding its top speed. However, it is a fuck ton faster than the Mark 10 Chieftain. Plain and simple. It, it will accelerate faster than a Chieftain. Even with mine being basically stock like this. It's only got a handful of modifications. And yet it's still faster. Maps like Folder Gap. Although they're really good for long range engagements. Same as Sinai. The tank struggles. It struggles with its speed, it struggles to get into position quickly. And with you going up against T64s in games and MBT-70s, um, even KPZ-70s, you know, the way the matchmaker's been working at the moment, I've been fighting everyone. But it's just not fast enough to compete. I think I was really hoping for something on a similar level to the other nations tank something that was fast maneuverable lightly armored now a lot of people do prefer heavy armored tanks that are brawlers or long-range snipers like the chieftain i do i think it's great fun however i don't want to do it game after game after game and the british line at this sort of battle rating really doesn't give you the option to rush a cap um, flank your enemy you know and shoot them in the sides and back and things like that the tanks just don't have the speed and maneuverability of other nations i have enjoyed playing this and you will see more chieftain mark 10 gameplay as i progress through the modifications and get this tank spaded eventually However, for the moment, I'm going to leave the gameplay where it is. I really did struggle with the tank and its speed, maneuverability and everything. So I'm going to revisit this in a few weeks, I think, or a month or so. And just see how the tank's improved, how the gameplay has improved. With the top repair cost of this being 22,774, I can't see many people playing these tanks for long. I think it's... A hyped up phase and unless War Thunder decide these repair costs are obnoxious I think the rank 6 vehicles at 8.7 are gonna start fizzling out I might be wrong I might not I think um, these tanks are good but at the repair cost they are they're just nothing more than a novelty at the moment so guys, if you are new to the channel and you have enjoyed today's gameplay, please do feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notifications bell for updates on future content. Also guys, a thumbs up is appreciated, it does help the channel. And comment below on your thoughts on the Chieftain Mark 10. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Um, do you like it or do you despise it? Let me know in the comments below guys. So until next time guys, I will see you soon and have fun.